Hello friends, welcome back. Did you know Microsoft is phasing out Swagger, the swashbuckle in .NET Core 9 and above? Don't worry, I have got you covered with two incredible alternatives to keep your API documentation top notch. So stick around to find out those two important things and let's get started. The application that you're seeing on my screen is the .NET Core 9 Web API. You can see in the project it's .NET 9 and by default, as I said, Microsoft has removed it and uh, the one that you get to see is the ASP.NET Core Open API. Now, we have two packages that I'm going to paste it here, which is the nswag.asp.net core and scalar.asp.net core. These two packages you can install by just, um, you know, copy this name, go here, right click and go to this uh, manage nuket package and once you go to the manage nuket package you can install these two after you install you will go and see your package version here it will come here right as of this january 2025 recording these two latest version is these okay so now once you install these two package again these two packages are not mandatory these two are, are the alternate options you can choose any one of these two or you can uh, choose both uh, it's up to you now once you have that, go to this program.cs and there is something called middleware, right? In the middleware, where you have uh, app.map open API, you need to copy paste this piece of code. These, these code I will give you in the description or even in the GitHub project. But basically this one covers the uh, scalar and this one covers the end swag. Okay. Now, in order to run this, when I run this uh, application, when I run this application, it will be like this. So I'm going to click on this and let me show you how things works. Okay. So the default one is if you go here and type this open API, this is how it looks. Okay. But we don't want to have this kind of things though you can use it, but the simple stuff is scalar slash V1. If you type this, you see this scalar uh, swagger endpoint started coming so based on the configuration if you look at the configuration i have uh, used the deep space and there are a lot of themes and i also say sidebar is true okay so sidebar true means all of the endpoints will start appearing here as a controller see this controller has only one like that will appear and you can click on this you can test this out by sending this information and you got the response okay this is for the scalar but if you wanted to type the end swagger just type swagger and then it will actually internally use this, uh, you know, JSON to build this kind of uh, swagger. And you can also try this out and you get the response, right? So these two are the alternates for the .NET Core 9 and above because the Swagger swagger has been removed officially from the Microsoft. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you like this video and it was useful. Do subscribe to my channel for more videos and uh, stay tuned. I will see you in the next. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Happy coding!